Good evening, and welcome to the conclusion of Mary's Mantle, this beautiful 46-day devotion that we have participated in throughout Lent into Holy Week and with its conclusion this evening. To me, it's been perhaps one of the best Lents ever, <laughs> aside from being self-quarantined um, in our homes. But the, the daily readings for every star was just amazingly profound, and I hope it was as meaningful to all of you as it was for me. I would like to conclude with this evening just a little recap and our prayer of consecration by St. Pope John Paul II, and then just some time in reflection. My friends, you could read so much more about the consecration and the tradition of Mary's mantle in your own booklets at home. I would suggest that you take a review later of page 3 and then pages 10 and 11. But the beautiful history is this began some time ago in rural Mexico when families prayed a lot in their homes because getting to sometimes the church, even the village church, could have been um, a long trek, um, especially if they didn't have the means of modern transportation. But everyone knew this beautiful image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patroness of the Americas, Mary appearing in, on this continent in, on Tepeyac Hill outside of what is today known as Mexico City. And if you've looked at the image or close-ups of your own images, you know her mantle is this beautiful cloak that she wears. And on the mantle are a series of stars, and there are 46 of them. Every day, the past 46 days, we have prayed a special prayer, we've prayed for special intentions, and we had people who fasted on those particular days. I thank you for the prayers for me on Good Friday, and I'm sure others do as well. So this beautiful tradition has grown to an international following of, of people praying the different, the 46 stars, and ending with a consecration to Mary. Now what is a consecration? It is when one gives of their very self everything to something that is divine and holy. Just like the elements of bread and wine are given wholly, thoroughly to God as God's Son in His precious body and blood, we are asked to consecrate ourselves to the great Mother of God. For she, without her, there is no church. She is the vessel that brought Jesus into the world by the power of the Holy Spirit. We look to Mary to pray with us and for us to her son. We do not have to go through Mary to be with her son, but I'll tell you, the best way to, to Jesus is through his blessed mother. And we are very privileged and we're very honored to be able to make this consecration. So this is a wonderful devotion, a wonderful opportunity for us to grow closer to Jesus and let's never forget those beautiful words that she offered at the great wedding in Cana, do what he tells you. If we stay true to Jesus and his teachings, if we do what he tells us to do by our love of him and of our neighbor, we have nothing to fear. So I invite you now to take a moment, perhaps be kneeling in front of your own image of Mary, the, the mother of God, whether it's an image of Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe or a statue. And um, I will now begin by reading the prayer of consecration to Our Lady of Guadalupe and her beautiful, spectacular mantle, Mary's mantle. So if your families are all together gathered, listen to these beautiful words. If you have your own um, uh, printout of the prayer, Pray it together with me. O Immaculate Virgin, Mother of the true God and Mother of the Church, who from this place reveal your clemency and your pity to all who ask for your protection, 
Hear the prayers that we address to you with filial trust and present it to your Son, Jesus, our sole Redeemer. Mother of mercy, teacher of hidden and silent sacrifice, to you who come to meet us sinners, we dedicate on this day all our being and all our love. We also dedicate to you our life our work, our joys, our infirmities, and our sorrows. Grant peace, justice, and prosperity to our peoples, for we entrust to your care all that we have and all that we are, Our Lady and Mother. We wish to be entirely yours and to walk with you along the way of complete faithfulness to Jesus. In his church, he will hold us always with his hand as you hold us with your loving hand. Virgin of Guadalupe, Mother of the Americas, we pray to you for all the bishops that they may lead the faithful along paths of intense Christian life, of love and humble service of God and souls. Contemplate this immense harvest and intercede with the Lord that he may instill a hunger of holiness in the whole people of God and grant abundant vocations of priests and religious, strong in the faith and zealous dispenser of God's mysteries. Grant to our homes the grace of loving and respecting life in its beginning with the same love with which you conceived in your womb the life of the Son of God. Blessed Virgin Mary, protect our families so that they may always be united and bless the upbringing of our children. Our hope, look upon us with compassion Teach us to go continually to Jesus, and if we fail, help us to rise again, to return to him by means of the confession of our faults and sins in the sacrament of penance, which gives peace to the soul. We beg you to grant us a great love for all the holy sacraments, which are, as it were, the signs that your Son left us on earth. Thus, most holy Mother, with the peace of God in our conscience, with our hearts free from evil and hatred, we will be able to bring to all true joy and true peace, which comes to us from your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who with God the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And now, my friends, if you have your certificate of consecration, please take a moment to sign it. If it's a total family, your total family name, in accordance with Mary's mantle consecration. Our Lady and Mother, we wish to be entirely yours and to walk with you along the way of complete faithfulness to Jesus Christ and his church. Hold us always with your loving hand. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Be in peace.